It's a really immersive piece of technology. It made me feel like I was actually in that setting. The weather was changing throughout and it really made me think about the opportunities for new drivers and how this will be a really great piece of kit to encourage them and get them confident in driving before they hit the tracks. And now I really want to be a freight train driver. <laughs> That's what this facility is all about, and is making these drivers competent and comfortable with the new systems. It's the biggest step change in how the railway operates since signals were invented, basically. We're bringing the signals from the line side for people that don't know about it. We've got light, traffic lights on the side of the track, We're bringing it all inside the cab. This academy is well placed in Doncaster. With regard to tying up with local communities, we want to go into I want to invite schools and stuff in the academy and show it off a little bit, just to inspire the kids. They're the next generation. It's important that they see all the career opportunities in rail. It's not just a driver. There is other roles as well behind it to make this great industry what it is. Benefits for the system overall. We're a lot greener for the environment. It's saving everyone money ultimately, and ultimately that's going to feed down to the end user who's using the railway. The drivers are going to be safer. It's just. Win win. One of GBRTT's priorities is market development, but the private sector needs certainty if it's going to invest in the rail freight industry. We've seen a great example of that type of investment here today in Doncaster. This state of the art facility will really help to support growth in rail freight and new opportunities for the UK and the UK economy going forward.